Whether you're graduating, leaving the district for some reason, or you just want to back up all your work at the end of the school year, Google Takeout is the tool that you want to use to do this. Google Takeout allows you to quickly download files from your LSSD Google Drive into formats that will work on any computer. This short tutorial is going to show you how to take out your Google Drive files before you leave the district. First, make sure you are signed into your LSSD Google account in the Chrome browser. Not sure how to do this? Click the question mark for more help. Then, open the URL in the box below. You can just click on that URL if you want to open it quickly. When you're ready, click the Continue button. This is the Google Takeout site. As you scroll down the page, you can see all of the options that you have. Google starts by assuming that you want to download every file that you've ever created. If you don't want that, you can deselect options by clicking next to the green arrow, which turns it into a gray X. Continue selecting and deselecting until you have just the file formats that you want to save. You can choose a file format for every single file type in the list. To change your choice, click the arrowhead to the right of the section and it will expand with many more choices. The current format in which your files will be saved shows here. If you'd like to choose another format, click the down arrowhead to the right of that format. For this particular format, which is a Google Doc, you can choose any of these five options. Generally though, the format pre-selected for you is the easiest to use and the most widely accepted on other computers. I'll finish making all my selections now. When all your selections are complete, click the Next button, which will take you to the next page of options. When Takeout saves your files, it's going to gather them all up into one big file and compress them down so it doesn't take up much storage room and it's much faster to download. By default, it will save them as a zip file, which can be opened by pretty much any computer in the world. Unless you really know what you're doing, don't change this option. As with all other things in Google Takeout, if you click on the down arrowhead, you can see all of the options that you have available for you. Now you're going to select how you'll get access to your files to start the download. By default, and probably the easiest way, Google will send you an email, and remember that's to your school account, that will have a link in it that you can just click on and go right to the file download. As always, if you click the down arrowhead next to delivery method, you will see all of your options that are available to you. Any of these work well if you know how to use them. But remember, the easiest is just to send the download link to your email. Now that you've made all your selections, click the Create Archive button to begin saving all your files. You'll see a progress bar in the screen that will update you on the file preparation process. Now you just need to be patient while Google does all its work converting your files and putting them in a downloadable file for you. Keep watching your email in your school account for a message telling you that the files are ready. If you only have a few files, this can be pretty quick, but if you have lots of files and videos and blogs, it can take several hours or even overnight for this process to complete. If you click the Continue button, we'll show you how to download your files. I chose the option to have Google send a link to my email account, so I've opened up my school email. In it, I found a message from Google, which looks something like this. Let's open up the message. Depending on the number of files you wanted to take out of your Google account, you will see one to many files that are ready for you to download. If you click on each one, it will take you to the website and start the download process for you. You'll have to sign in to prove that it's really you. If you're on a computer, select the folder or the drive that you want to download the file into. If you're working on your Chromebook, you're going to want to save this to a USB flash drive. Insert your flash drive into a USB port and it will show up in the Files app as shown here. Select it to download and proceed with the rest of the process. Click Save and the download will start. Congratulations! You've successfully downloaded your files from your Google Drive. But remember they're in a zip file format which means they've all been collected into one file so now we need to 
um, extract those so you can get access to each of those individual files. And if you downloaded these files on a Chromebook, you'll need to take your flash drive to another computer to finish this last part. When the file is downloaded, it will be named something like this one. You have to remember that these files can be really big, so you'll have to be patient. This one took almost five minutes to download. Now that you've downloaded them, you have all of your files in one big file, and we need to extract them from this big file into their individual smaller files. To do that, we'll double click on the zip file to open it up. Next, click the Extract All Files button at the top of the screen. Now click the Extract button. After you've selected a destination, the computer will start to extract all of the files into a big folder. Once again, you'll need to be patient. It can take several minutes, sometimes, depending on how many files you copied from your Google account. When the process is complete, another window should open up with the folder and all of its contents ready for you to access. To take a look at your files, double-click the Takeout folder. This download file contained all of my YouTube videos, and Google organized them into a single folder for me. I'll just double-click it to open it up. And here you can see all the individual files which are in that zip file. Google will generally try to keep files of certain types together and organize them in folders for you. That's it. You've now been able to download all your files and access them on another computer. Good luck to you as you continue on your life's journey.